Hello and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making Southern Fried Chicken Tenders. To start with, you're gonna need four chicken breasts, which you're gonna cut the fatty pieces off of. If you look in the video, you'll see how I did it. And then you're gonna cut these into slices, so that's gonna make your chicken tenders. Once you've got them all cut, place them in a bowl, which you are going to pour buttermilk over top of until you have a decent coating. And then you're gonna stir that up to mix it completely through. Everything needs to be coated so that way the outer coating we're putting on will stick to the chicken. Keep stirring it until you think you've gotten every piece turned over. In a separate bowl, you're gonna add one cup of flour two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, your choice, one tablespoon of garlic pepper seasoning, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt. To this you are going to add one third cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Now other than this, what you're gonna need is some oil for cooking, of course. And you're gonna need a decently large skillet to put this in. If everything doesn't fit the first time through, you can always cook and then put the extra in after you're done with the first pan. So take your chicken tenders, put them into the powdered mixture you made up, and then set them aside on a board until you get ready to actually fry them. Just flip them back and forth. The actual flour mixture will stick to them very easily now that you have the buttermilk on. As you can see from the way that the four chicken breasts I use cut up, you get quite a lot of chicken out of this as far as tenders are concerned. You can feed quite a few people, depending on you know, how many they eat per person. Just a reminder, when you are doing this, whatever utensils you use to mix up the chicken before it hits the pan need to either be washed or you get new ones. You don't want to cross-contaminate your food by using something to flour your chicken and then use the same thing of pulling a done piece of chicken out of a pan. You will contaminate it. You might make someone sick. We don't want to do that. So in between, as I was working, I actually washed my utensils and came back and used them fresh. Um, there's no way I want to make anyone sick with anything I'm cooking. I'm sure you feel the same way. So as we continue here, you can see there is a lot of chicken piling up that actually has been breaded. You need to have your oil in your pan and warming at this point because you actually want it to be warm when you put the chicken in. You don't want to put it in cold oil because at that rate, you know, you're actual breading might come off or you know it's just not going to cook very fast you need hot oil to start with so now we're going to place these into my pan and you see oil has covered the entire bottom of the pan You can put the chicken up against each other as you're laying it into the pan. It's okay as long as you move it around as you cook, it won't stick together and your breading will be safe. Because there will be times that if you actually overlay some things, it will rip the breading from one piece to another. This however, just keep moving it, you'll be fine. The key thing to cooking this is to remember you need to flip these ever so often. You don't want to like do it every minute, but I'd say like every five minutes or so flip your chicken. So that way it is cooking thoroughly, but also as you can see, it'll start to brown on each side as you're getting there. And it'll be easy to tell when your chicken is done because the outside will be very browned. 
very golden looking and that's what you're trying to go for here you could always check it with a thermometer or you can take a piece and actually one of the thicker ones cut into it to see if the inside is pink if it's pink you're not done um otherwise you just keep flipping it and cooking it until it's to a golden brownish look Now, as you can see in my pan, my chicken is done. It's golden, it's brown, and it looks really great. Um, the best thing about this is it has a really great taste when you're done. It's not overly seasoned, it's not overly hot. Um, I don't do a lot of hot, spicy things when I'm cooking for someone else. Not for myself, I like spicy food. But as you can see in the picture, this is what the chicken tenders look like when they're done. And they taste amazing. And I hope you like these as much as I do, because it's a great recipe. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to see you back for the next one. Have a good day.